In this video, we are replacing a Water Furnace Premier 2 geothermal heat pump with a new 5 series Water Furnace heat pump. This was the existing loop that was submerged vertically in the water. After pressure testing this existing loop, we found that it was leaking beyond repair. It was actually leaking around the vertical pipes where they soldered them uh, to the horizontal pipes for support. These were the supports that connected this configuration here to the dock. It would, this configuration here was about 300 feet total uh, piping of the copper pipes. For the new loop, we constructed a frame from 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC. The four coils are fused together or fusion welded together in a reverse return configuration. That gives us more even water flow throughout the system. And we also spread the rolls out about every three courses and put spacers in uh, to allow the water to pass throughout the center of the rolls, uh, aiding with heat transfer. All of the loops are securely fastened to the frame and they're also fastened in between with spacers so there's absolutely no movement that can occur. Uh, one of our concerns was that the current in the water would move these pipes around enough to rub a hole in one of the pipes. As we dropped this frame into the water, as even though it was heavy, it was probably 150 pounds, it floated uh, no problem at all. So we actually had to fill this um, to submerge it, and then we could, even with it filled, we could only get it about halfway down. So we had to drill holes in the PVC frame uh, to get it to sink. Um, here we have the diver that we contracted uh, to place this um, pond loop underneath of the dock and we secured this to the dock with a stainless steel aircraft cable. So we have six connection points on this frame and then we brought that up to the bottom side of the dock and we anchored it uh, with eyelets. So it's very secure. A huge thank you goes out to the diver. Uh, we would not have been able to complete this installation without the diver. He was instrumental at getting the uh, loop positioned in place where we needed it. The floats on this floating home are about three and a half feet thick. Uh, so the total depth of the submerged pond loop is a little bit over four feet deep and he was nice enough to take the camera down and give us an overview just to make sure that none of our cabling um, or any of our aircraft cable was anywhere near uh, the loop or anything was tangled up. If you have any questions about geothermal systems in the greater Portland area, you can give us a call or you can email us at service at columbianw.com and we'd be happy to help you out with any of that. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Thank you.